In the depths of the quantum realm is a world that appears very alien to us. We have only recently begun to explore this strange world of the very small, and much of it remains a complete mystery to us. What we do know is that understanding the quantum world is vital to understanding the universe. How much is ultimately knowable and how much will forever stay hidden from us. Early last century, scientists discovered the laws that the laws of physics that they used to explain motion of ordinary objects didn't appear to work at the subatomic level. Subatomic particles exhibit wave particle duality. This means that particles exist simultaneously as a particle and as a wave. The momentum and position of the particles could not be determined at the same time and the behavior of separate particles appear to be intertwined. These are Heisenberg uncertainty principle and quantum entanglement. It was later discovered that this behavior of particles at the quantum level appears different only because subatomic particles are extremely tiny. It is predicted that all matter essentially follows the same principles. Only at the level of ordinary objects, these effects become invisible. Larger particles, such as golf balls, for example, also exhibit wave particle duality. But the frequency of the wave component is so high that it cannot be observed. So at the quantum level, we cannot simultaneously predict the position and the momentum of a particle. So we can only deal with probabilities. If you measure a, a particle's position, its momentum becomes uncertain, and vice versa. So we can only predict a probable position if we want to measure both. This made Einstein very uncomfortable, because he didn't believe gold would play dice. And he tried very hard to disprove this observation. He never could. It was later suggested that, rather than one possible outcome, every possible outcome existed simultaneously. At the moment of measurement, this outcome branches off into a new timeline based upon this measurement. This was called the many world hypothesis. This got rid of the probability factor, because the observed reality would only be a perspectival reality, and the other states also existed, but they remained undefined. If this phenomenon should prove to be true for the quantum world, it should also apply to the macroscopic world. It would mean that every possible outcome from any event would, would exist alongside our observed outcome, and this would continue to branch off independently in infinite ways. It is here that things get complicated. The term world in many world hypotheses is a perspectival world. So for me, this world is the world seen from my perspective. And everything in the world has a particular state based on my perception. Things I don't perceive remain in an undetermined state. Everyone has their own perspectival world. My perspectival world has a unique past, based on my personal experiences. But it has an undetermined future. The person that I am at this moment in time is the person that has my unique past. So the I at this moment is defined. There are an infinite number of other Alexes in parallel worlds. But these are not I. They are the same Alex, but they have their own unique past. However, the I in the future is not yet defined, and therefore corresponds to all possible states of Alex resulting from every possibility. Strange as this sounds, this hypothesis has been widely accepted in quantum mechanics. We can infer that anything that can happen, will happen in another parallel world. For every possibility at any moment in time, the timeline splits into a new world based upon this outcome of this possibility. I am only aware of one perspective or world. All the other possible parallel worlds exist side by side in an infinite, num in an infinite hyper dimensional universe or multiverse. So if I get a crossroad, there are two possibilities, left or right. If I choose right, my perspective or world or have a past where I turn right. The other possibility also exists. This will be a different perspective or world, with the past where he turned left. He will continue in this parallel world and be unaware of the other Alex. So here we get to the amazing part. Imagine the Alex who turned right got run over by a car. 
He has now ceased to exist in this perspectival world. The other Alex who turned left didn't get run over a car and was still alive. The future of this can still hold every possible Alex. To test this hypothesis, a thought experiment was suggested by a doctoral student at Princeton University. It meant to illustrate the consequences of the many world hypothesis. At first, the rest of the world had a good laugh about it, but slowly, quantum physicists started to take it more and more seriously. I will briefly explain the experiment. Remember, this can only be a thought experiment, not a real experiment. A fictitious person played a game of Russian roulette. You would expect that he would be dead after a few tries. Only from his perspective, he can continue to fire the gun, and every time it missed fires, or he would get wounded, but he will never die. Why? Well, in your perspective or world, you will probably see the gun go off after a few tries, and the person would be dead, probably because you expect this to happen. He would then cease to exist in your perspective or world, but in at least one parallel world, he would stay alive. In this parallel world, the only possible outcome is that somehow he miraculously survived the experiment. Because the world where he died, he ceased to exist for him, and he can no longer experiment it, he experiences. Of course, what happens to his personal identity, and whether his alter ego in another world is actually the same person is unclear. He would never know the difference though, because in his perspective or world, he didn't die. The idea of the many world hypothesis, and whether its relation to reality, remains to be proven. What are the implications of the many world hypothesis? It could su suggest that no one can die. In our own perspective or world, we would also m always miraculously survive our an, as our alter ego in a parallel world. We will survive any accident or disease. And if we happen to die of old age, we can argue that mm, there will always be a universe or we haven't been born yet, or exists in some other body or form. We would never know the difference, and continue living eternally in the present of our own perspectival world.